So John and I spent today um, watching a ton of Netflix. I ended up making a really good like beef marinade, beef Asian marinade with white rice and egg rolls. So good, let me show you. Voice over Brittany here because I accidentally covered the mic on my camera, but I'm pretty much telling you guys how I keep turning off the faucet and I'm letting it drip because we're having a freeze outside. I'm also opening up all of our cabinets you guys this was that like crazy texas freeze that like texas practically shut down we were really lucky because we didn't lose power people in our facebook community group um posted that there was like snow flurries outside so i kind of want to see i already let them out um they'll probably go out one more time before bed but i don't know how they're gonna do with like freezing freezing weather because we live in Houston so they're used to having super hot sunny weather all the time and I'm a little bit worried about how they're gonna do tomorrow because tomorrow it's gonna be like the coldest it's ever been in Houston historically ever okay so I just fed the dogs they have not been outside yet it is pretty cold out there it's in the teens and they've never experienced weather that cold so i'm kind of curious how they're gonna act especially because the sidewalk is frozen i just woke up away into the wild i know my hay mouth up inside can't wait to bury the roots of my mistakes to only keep it the truth yeah. There's a treasure out there Just everyone should just have to choose yeah. What's going on? Here it is a wisdom of the city Is that a mark? We don't know mark Just run away Hey guys, so this vlog kind of cut off here and the big reason why was because my father-in-law's pipes had busted his, he didn't have central heating so we actually had to go and pick him up once the roads had thawed. He was able to stay one night with a friend and the water from his pipe that he was dripping was literally creating an icicle. Like that's how cold it was at his house. Um, but luckily he stayed with a friend that first night. When the road thawed, we were able to go pick him up and he stayed with us for about six or seven days. And you guys, it can be difficult to have your in-laws in your house. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know, a big thing, doesn't matter who you're stuck with. If you're stuck in the house for like 24 hours a day for a week, you start to get on each other's nerves. And if it's someone that you don't usually live with, it's just a little bit easier to get aggravated. Um, but we kind of like made it through. One of the hardest things was the fact that we got a boil water notice. So anytime like I wanted to cook or drink water or anything like that, I had to boil the water. I mean, that is nothing in comparison to what a lot of my family and friends went through, losing power when it was like freezing outside and not just 32 degrees freezing, but literally like 15 to 20 degrees outside. Um, and you know, if you're up north, that might seem like nothing, but our houses down here are not built to withstand that kind of cold. We're more so to like keep the heat out, which in this situation, we wanted the heat. But anyway, we were able to get a plumber out within like a week of the pipes being busted. Plumbers were a hot commodity around here. It was really hard to get a plumber, um, but he came out, he fixed all the busted pipes, there was just one part he didn't have. He was able to put a cap on it. He's gonna come back later and fix that. We're still waiting on that and it's been a couple weeks. But all I was really able to do was like cook and clean and kind of like keep myself busy. So I would highly recommend if you haven't already to prepare yourself with an emergency kit. I kind of wish I would have done it more so for the hurricanes. You know, having an emergency kit would have really come in handy during the freeze too, like bottled waters, and extra food and little things like that. But anyhow, everything worked out and I'm really glad. But I mainly stopped vlogging because I just was getting so stressed out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.